This is my home-built rose angel, constructed mostly from scrap. You're looking at the main stepper motor drive, connected to a barrel of rosettes that are connected to the main shaft via an MDMDF clutch. The cutter motor is on the right and comes out of a micro milling machine. This is the main clutch mechanism that is operated by releasing the lever on the left, which is at the rosette end, and applying the lever, which is a brake, to the main shaft. That's the lever on the right hand end of the picture. We're now looking at the main tension spring on the right is the man is the wheel for the manual drive. This is the main clutch control mechanism being released. These are the stepper motor controls using software uh, published by Gary Liming and Rod W on the on YouTube. Very useful piece of software that allows you to index the rosettes and move them a few degrees at a time. The software runs on an Arduino with a same smart LCD keypad shield. Very useful when doing the step index. This also controls the main motor in a runner. Here you see Rosette snuffer, using a small little bearing rubbing against the rosette, rubbing against a multifaceted rosette. Snubber moves up and down on the two glass bars as necessary. This is the spirograph. for drawing some or carving some quite intricate patterns on work pieces. Here you see the uh, main cutter motor cutting a double sine wave pattern on a small bowl. The sine wave is stepped 22 and a half degrees between each cut. First sine wave cut and then move the rosettes using the stepper control 22 and a half degrees and then make, then make the second cut. This is a simple spirograph pattern cut using the spirograph attachment. It's stopped after three rotations. It will go on to create a much more complex pattern, but the carved lines are too close together to make it a feasible proposition.
finished spirograph design. The centre of the bowl is not yet completed. This is a relief carving using an eight-pointed rosette. It's carved from the outside in, and as you'll see later, it's then carved from the inside to the out. Each cut taking a few minutes every time the cutter goes round. This is an example of a more complex spirograph pattern where the machine is allowed to copy the spirograph until it is finished. This uses a fairly small spirograph wheel with one of the inside holes rather than the exterior ones. This gives a pattern which is widely enough separated to work. The piece takes around five minutes to carve from start to finish.
radial design using the step indexer. The, the pieces move using the step indexer every 10 degrees and then a horizontal line is cut using the small mirror. constructed from mostly from scrap lying around my workshop and probably represents about 150 man hours of work and another 50 man hours of thinking. Every time I finished it I thought of something else to do so it's still under construction. Any comments to adriangjacobs at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.